Hello everyone, my name is Captain Bardock, and today marks a new start for the informational part of the channel. It's going to begin a new segment called Know Your Environment. And today we're going to be covering environmental traps. Now, let me break this down by saying that there are two types of environmental traps. There are CC traps and then damage traps. The first one we're going to talk about is this nice vine trap here in Area 4 of the Ancient Forest. You trigger this one, you either have to have the monster hit the tree or blow the tree up yourself, like I'm about to do here. And what this will do is act like a pitfall trap. It will CC the monster, giving you an opportunity to lay waste. There is another one of these in Area 8. Let's just quickly go there and we'll do the same thing. It doesn't really matter if you use large barrel bombs or small barrel bombs. As long as it's an explosion that's going to take out the tree, it should be fine. Now this map has a total of four and a half traps. Now I'm sure you're wondering how I, how I got to a half of a trap. Well, there's another vine trap on this map, but it's super conditional. Because there's only one or two monsters that ever go there, so I don't really see it as particularly valuable. I'll still cover it in this video. Alright, now that we're here in Area 8, Show you real quick that just regular barrel bombs will do the job as well. They don't have to be mega barrel bombs. And same thing, it drops us a nice big net upon the ground. Next up, we're going to be doing these. We're going to be looking at these suspended boulders, and what these boulders allow you to do is drop a giant pile of rocks onto anything. And these are the second. All right. And next up, we're going to be looking at the suspended boulders. These fall into the second category of environmental traps. They're going to do damage and then CC the monster. So what you do here is you just go to lovely area twelve. And to activate this trap, you either have to shoot it with a slinger or wedge beetle up to the beetle next to it and hit it with your melee weapon. You can also shoot it with a ranged weapon, but that's the equivalent of shooting it with a slinger, so I'm not real worried about it. Now these poor Kestodons are about to feel the wrath of these giant boulders. Just as a demonstration. So it did damage, they're CC'd, and we're going to move on with our day. Alright, next up we're gonna I'm gonna show you that vine trap up in area 14. But like I said, it's super finicky to do. And I think only Azure Rathalos and Bagel ever show up in this area. As an added bonus, any traps that you set will be persistent throughout the map. So like you can see here, a great jagger's just wandered into that vine trap. Over to area 14 we go. And I'm going to show you exactly where it is and how to set it. But like I said, there's not a lot of use in it. And the last, but certainly not least, we've got the Dam Trap. It's up in the Rathalos and Rathian Nest. And to activate this one, the same thing. You just have to have, an, have the monster attack a specific part of the room, or hit it yourself with explosives. This one is especially good if you're battling a Rathalos. 
Because Rathlos often will just sit in the nest and you can just wash him away. Never to be seen again. No, I'm just kidding. You can jump off after him. He CC'd for 15 seconds after the after getting washed off the cliff and landing hard upon the ground. But other than that, that's all the traps in this area. Thank you guys very much for watching, and if I missed any, or am unaware of some, please let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, do all that other YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, share. You little asshole. How could you do this to me? I'm in the middle of an outro! Oh, the video's ruined. Alrighty, guys, I'll see you guys on Sunday for the next meme-tastic weapon guide.